Hey everyone, welcome to Physics Wala guys. Hope you all are doing well and your preparation is going to the up to the mark. Preparation for what? For your uh, competitive exam so that this will shape your career. Now I am here to give you a very short presentation on what are the ways so that you can get a high paying job in our India after the B.Tech examination of course. See here, after 12th examination, those who have, you have prepared for your let's say IIT JE to get uh, in the top rated college or let's say for example you have prepared for uh, IIT JE mains or advanced whatever and based on that score level you get into tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 engineering colleges or let's say in top IITs also it doesn't matter actually but the point is that after that you always have a dilemma that says how I will shape my career throughout the life okay I must be placed in a top reputed organization whether it be private sector whether it will be a, a government sector whatever so that the salary structure must be uh, awesome and based on your salary structure mind it you will get a uh, definitely a good marriage also yes or no <laughs> nowadays these kind of things are there so let me add on a few uh, uh, that is a points so that if you opt these points then surely you will place yourself on a top organizations whether it will be anything now see here what are the, uh, the types of jobs in our India so there are two kinds of job one is a research job where you will see that uh, you, you are placed in uh, top research organizations like Park or let's say ISRO now ISRO is doing a very awesome tremendous job from the last four or five uh, years like Chandrayaan and all and let's say in CSIR and multi other organizations are there in uh, that is uh, in the private sector also like Texas Instruments and so on which are doing uh, some kind of research in our day to day life and there is another kind of job which is a non research job and they are like let us say you placed in a top uh, PSUs Maharatna, Mini Ratna whatever or you placed yourself in a top let us say private organization like Google, Microsoft, okay, data patterns and all in all Neuralink okay Elon Musk SpaceX and these kind of things so the point is that what are the ways from which I should choose career path so that I can place myself I can see myself after let's say four years of job see here the first thing I am saying is that you must gain expertise in a particular niche for example you are let's say uh, doing your BTEC from let's say so, so, so and so college X college now if your dream is to get into the Google for example then you must have a skills of programming language you must know the programming how to program yourself or how to uh, that is a uh, get into the various programming like for example nowadays AI is gaining a boom so the point is that you must have a language like Python and R so that you must uh, have uh, some kind of set skills so that some kind of programming language you must know and see many times what happened is that a student wasted their four years and are in the uh, their curriculum if the particular programming was there then also they uh, just uh, take it as a granted and they just passed after let's say examination they doesn't worry about a research and all but mind it that if your dream is to get a package of let's say 40 lakh or 50 lakhs then you you must expertise on a particular niche that's the very important thing second thing is that expand and refine your skill set mind it that you have lot of skill set you have to take care of while preparing for any let's say examination for example let's consider a gate examination if if you are preparing for gate examination then not only this not only that you must have a knowledge of 10 subjects minded that you must have a some kind of skill set that what kind of strategy I should opt so that I will uh, get enter into the let's say AIR 100 AIR 50 this kind of pool so you must that is have a perfection on that particular skill set what kind of st your strategy must be chosen one okay your strategy must be alone it should be different from other if you are seeing thing different than your peers okay then suppose you, many of you may complain that sir I am from a let's say a background which consists of let's say uh, from a rural area I don't have uh, some uh, uh, communication skill I also have uh, not a communication skill up to the power but the point is that see I don't have communication skill I don't have a kind of let's say competitive 
performance so that uh, that is do well in your competitive environment so what i am saying is that whatever your current position is just you have to excel day by day day by day you just take the example of an aunt aunt climbing on the wall see how many times the aunt falls and comes into the let's say floor but the point is that she tries she tries she tries and if you try guys seriously for 4 years surely your skill set will be there because many of students are not doing okay so the point is that whatever be the current position you whatever be the current position no one comes from your silver spoon from uh, let's say mother womb but the point is that you must learn in this competitive world okay and another thing is that you must invest in your education okay suppose for example if you are saving let's say 20 penny or let's say 30 penny or for your education mind it that it will cost you because your time is very limited guys your time is very very limited and you must respect your time otherwise time will never respect you that's the thing that's the thing you have to remember so whenever it comes to the cost of education i'm not saying that you should just pay for some random courses no what i'm saying is that you must consult to your teachers you must consult to your seniors you must consult to us or may, uh, other things where it will cost you to a good organization whatever be it is so i am not saying that investing in terms of money you must invest a time also time it's it's more than more than more than money minded four time four years you have every day you have 86000 of second consider it as a 86000 rupees i have okay in your complete 24 hours and you must invest it invest it on your proper proper skill set okay so these kind of things are very very important there mind it there are two types of students always there one is a self motivated students those who have a some kind of motivation some kind of zeal they don't require external fire but there are the students which are confused in nature okay many students are there i also if i take example then i was also confused in my whole btech life but right guidance is very important mind it that i'm quoting a one very standard uh that's quote from steve jobs that your time is limited so don't waste it in other one else life don't that is live others life okay don't just uh, pretend to be like uh, some experts okay just whatever you are accept it and do uh, must be excel on it okay this is the very very important thing that you have to take care of okay so there are lot of things there are lot of things you have to do in your career path gate is one of the path definitely from that you will get in the top iits on you will get in the top psus like isc guys iit kanpur is one of the iit kanpur and iit bombay are not doing a job which is one of the most important research job in in top world universities okay so with this this is the very short span i'm just i just want you to uh, motivate you and i just want to give you a uh, some kind of skill set so that so thank you very much guys thank you hope that you will be on your dream organization after 5 years thank you